Hello everybody and welcome back to Overload Comedy. I hope you have been enjoying the videos on my channel. I've been doing reaction videos and gaming videos and all this stuff. But this time, I'm starting something new. Yeah, I'm starting something amazing. I'm starting something wonderful. It's called Types Of. This new series is a fantastic series. Yes, it's going to be called Types Of Whatever. So it could be types of parents, types of neighbors, types of stupid ass people that get in your face because they want to show their audacity in today's video we will be talking about different types of neighbor that was my scent <laughs> that wasn't me that was actually my scent in today's video we will be talking about different types of neighbors let's go at number one we have the zombies these neighbors are the ones that you never see in the morning or in even in the night sometimes you never see them taking out the trash you never see them bringing in the shopping you never see them park their car you just never see them even if there's fireworks going outside and it's like the 1st of July, you never see them popping out their bloody window or popping out their bloody door. But you know they are there because you can see trash cans always filled up, the garbage man taking out their garbage every single bloody day, their car parked from there to there or there to there, but you never actually see them. You see their stuff being moved, but you don't see them. And you always wonder, where are they? Are they always in the basement, like sucking blood or something? Oh wait, vampires do that, not zombies. Maybe they're killing, maybe they're fighting out crime, who knows what they're doing, but they never, you never see them. I mean, they don't have jobs, they don't have, or do they have jobs? They have like Father Christmas jobs or something like that. So they're always, always away from your face. They're never in front of your eyes. Where are they hiding? I mean, are they like Avengers? Are they like Spider-Man? Are they like from the Matrix or something? Who are they? Even if you go knocking on their door and you want to give them a gift or something or it's Christmas and you just want to give a small card saying, you know, Happy Merry Christmas and have a nice day, you know, blah, blah, blah. you want to do that, but they are never there. So you always have to post it through the letterbox. You never see their bloody face. You don't even know what they look like. So even if so, someone goes missing and it's actually your next door neighbor and when you see the poster on the bloody tree, you'll be like, who the hell is that? When you don't even know they're the bloody next door neighbor. I mean, what would you do? What would you do if the police came to your door right now and they said, have you seen this person? And this person is living next, right next door. And you don't know you have no idea because you've never seen their face number two the shakalaka boom booms these neighbors are so gorgeous when you do see them it's like you need to go pee but there's no toilet near you so you just want to do it right there and then when you go and see them collecting their mail from the letterbox and then it's like oh, it's so hot and it's bloody winter time and it's bloody snowing outside they are so bloody hot the bloody letter is bloody burning in their bloody hands they are so bloody hot even my eyeballs are bloody burning inside and then when you want to just go and say good morning you're like <laughs> yeah they make you go wanna go crazy even if you are married i'm not talking about myself by the way i'm talking from i'm talking i'm talking about a friend yeah i'm not, I'm not talking about myself okay then i'm glad we got that sorted even if they're taking out the bloody garbage and they're like <sighs> in slow motion and it's just amazing to look at and you're just like looking outside their window like like that when you should be doing the bloody dishes or even vacuuming or even having a shower they are the people you want to be friends with just so that you can go clubbing and say look at my friend look at my friend he bloody gorgeous isn't he he bloody gorgeous or he's the type of friend you want to go shopping with and everyone's like can i get your number can i get your number just because you have that amazing friend just because you have that bloody gorgeous looking friend even if suddenly they want to come and talk to you and say good morning you're like ah, ah, it's a friday night you have no idea what you are saying because your brain not bloody functioning properly because you just looked out into their eyes and you're deep swimming in their bloody ocean that's how you bloody feel because your brain not bloody working because you are so mesmerized by their bloody beauty number three the ned flanders don't you hate it when you have those crazy ass bloody neighbors that say good morning every single time you bloody see them or it's like it looks lovely when it's bloody raining outside and one day like a package come from amazon and you have to open the door and they unfortunately are standing outside and they're like how are you doing today you're looking bloody gorgeous what did you drink did you drink the beautiful orange juice no get out of my face and then they will start talking about something completely random like have you seen that latest netflix show no i haven't seen that netflix show but i'm pretty sure you're gonna tell me about it oh yes it's about that girl that looks through the window outside the door near the tree under the floor in the sky bruh please leave me alone but have you seen it oh no you haven't have you well i'll tell you all about it come inside let's have some cup of tea like they don't get it they just don't get that you are not into that 
and you just want to go home and do your thing, you know, and have your tea by yourself, they don't get that, do they? And then when you do tell them that, leave me alone, they get all, all upset and emotional. They're like, ah, well, I never. Well, you hickory dickory should, shouldn't you? And then they say these random things like, oh, it's a scrumptious, dumptious, dillious day. Oh, is it now? It's bloody raining outside. I think subconsciously they're trying to like kill you. That's what they're trying to do. Because they act all friendly and windy and then when they come inside, it's like, BAM! You know, they kill you or something. Or BAM! You get hit by a bus or something like that. I know, I don't know. And then they're bloody driving the bus as well, innit? Number four, the forever takers. These are the neighbours that will come to your door and ask you for your sugar, your salt, your lawnmower, your bloody sofa. They will take everything you have. They won't care and they won't even give it back. And then the next thing you know, you're going down two roads down, your other next door neighbours, like your third door next door neighbours or something. And then you see their bloody sofa or their bloody sugar or their bloody lawnmower and it's yours. These are the people that will knock on your bloody door and won't even say good morning. They will say, do you have a sugar? My next door neighbour coming over and I don't have no bloody sugar. Please give me. Like, don't you ever go Morrison's? Don't you ever go Sainsbury's? Don't you ever bloody go Tesco to get your bloody own sugar? They're only bloody 99p a bag. Why these neighbors don't get their own bloody sugar? Only bloody 99p. Why? Bloody, you can find the bloody 99p under your bloody sofa. The one that you took from my house. These are the ones that will bloody lock on your bloody door. And even if for some reason you are not in the house, they will go to their garden, jump over their bloody fence, and then take the lawnmower and then go over to their back of the fence again. And then they will start using the lawnmower mobile and then you'll be like, We're friends! We're next door neighbors! You went in the house, so I just went to your garden and took it anyway because you didn't realize that you are not home. So I hope it is okay. Well, obviously, now I have to say it's okay because you already bloody took it, didn't it? And if I say it's not okay, then you will bloody hate me and I don't want that. So I have to say, yes, of course, no problem when it is a bloody big fat problem. These are the people who will come to your house, knock on your bloody door and say, What is your internet password? because they don't feel like paying for their own password so they want to share your internet some of the good forever takers will even pay you they will give you some money like five pounds even if your bloody virgin media internet bill is bloody 45 pound they will only pay five pound but still they're still using your bloody internet isn't it and five pound a month is bloody nothing and that's it they will take your internet and they will forever use it they will never give it back or even if you change your password next thing you know five minutes later they're bloody knocking on your door what did you do to your password you change your bloody password why you not tell me huh i thought we have a bond we have a bond why didn't you tell me you change your bloody internet huh and then for that month they won't give you the five pound as well what the hell is this? I mean, I don't even understand. Why don't you go to bloody Ikea and buy your own stuff? Why are you borrowing it from me, eh? I don't bloody own everything in my bloody house. Can you not see it's bloody empty apart from this? So please, go to Ikea, get your lawnmower, go to Sainsbury's, get your bloody sugar, and go to bloody furniture land to get your bloody furniture. Why are you asking me, eh? I can't give you everything you need. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this video right here, right now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you want other types of whatever, then write it in the comment section and I will do another video very soon for you because I love you guys. Yes. <laughs> Make sure you have liked this video so that I know you like this type of video so I can keep them coming. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already and click that notification bell for future video updates. Make sure you click another video on the screen to keep enjoying my content, okay? And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys! Mwah.